Okay, see, so this is my 1985 Yamaha B Max 1200. This has 9,600 miles. As you can see, I bought it as a project bike and it's a very nice bike. Uh, I did several fixes to this. When I bought it, the brakes were not good. I replaced the tires for a new ones. Um, I replaced this rubber that was uh, broke. I replaced all the oil, fluids, and everything, uh, all the coolant for new one. Um, I did uh, some polishing to the tank, or not tank, to, for the cover. Um, replaced the lever. I know that this looks pretty bad, but what I found at the beginning is that this was cracked, so I replaced it for a new one, uh, about five dollars, in at Amazon. So the clear sight, so I had to do some uh, adjustments or modifications to it, but then it's not leaking anymore. So as you can see, all this. But then I noticed that inside here, uh, you can see that I have a, like a napkin uh, in order to contain the the leak. So it, it's not leaking every time, but uh, it's just a, a little drop once every I don't know when, but it was it, it it dropped some here. You can see some of the drops and damage this uh, the finishing. So. Also, put a new, uh, a new used uh, radiator cover. Replace front tires, uh, front tire. I replace the brakes as well from all uh, from the uh, how they were before. Uh, they were uh, worn. Uh, this was unplugged, and I think that the old owner has some issues with the brakes. So uh, they were all greasy. So I cleaned them all. Uh, replace, tight all the bolts, make sure that everything was tight. Um, as you can see, uh, I ju I'm just buying a new set of uh, mirrors. Uh, I replaced this one because it seems like uh, the bike fell one time and that's why. Uh, this was bent and this rubber was damaged, so I changed it for a new one. Um, basically, I bought everything in Parcilla. Uh, I also replaced the fuel pump or fuel pump, uh, clean the, the gas tank and did a cleaning cleaning. Also I replaced three times this um, oil because this oil was um, very dirt, dirty, it was black. Um, and so I did um, a change and then reduced it for 300 miles, another change, 300 miles. And then the second change uh, or oil change was pretty good or was clear. I also I need to get a new uh, lock pin. As you see, I use a nail that makes perf uh, works perfect, so no problem. I also did some cleaning to the wheels, polishing, and I have my historic plates from Kentucky. Okay, so what what we will do today? We are going to. To replace this, um, we're going to. I just bought from Amazon the original kit from uh, for, from Yamaha. It has the original kit. Uh, you can buy a cheaper one that is about forty-two dollars, and this one is forty-seven. So I said uh, for fifteen dollars, let me get the original quality. I know that the others are pretty good, but. Uh, for $15 I prefer to buy the OEM so this is what we are doing today and um, also something that I will do I will put some uh, paint remover or in order to remove all this paint from the lever from the master cylinder once it's done um, I will paint again so it will take uh, some hours but I will go step by step Okay, so first, what we have to do is to make sure that anything 
everything is covered. So what I will do, I will use uh, old towels that we don't use anymore. So we can cover as much as possible because as I said, this fluid will be corros is corrosive and will damage anything that you don't protect. So I think this will be enough to, to remove everything. If some kind of drops spill or something, uh, we're going to be good. Uh, we're going to contain everything here. So next steps, what we're going to do, we're going to remove these bolts, uh, we're going to remove the cover, the plastic, and then we're going to drain all this oil or fluid, brake fluid to a, another a container. And then I will remove the two bolts from the back in order to to take the master cylinder to my work area. So I will have it here. Uh, and then it's plastic, so all the corrosive uh, fluid will be in plastic, not metal, so no metal reactions or something. All right, so I'll be back. Okay, so I have a fit five millimeters for the leveler, lever and for the bracket. So I will put it aside. What I will do first is to remove these bolts, as I said. One. Two. So these are removed. I will put them in the place where I told you that so it is plastic. Now what we are going to do, I made this tool with a sprayer and a nozzle and I will put pour it in this container because the fluid is clean so I will do it right. So be careful where you put everything. So hopefully you can see what I will put this here. Ooh, you see it's difficult. So okay. It's not, not working, sorry. Where is the wheel? Okay. 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 You see? You want to go to the lowest corner so you can suck all the, the fluid. Now if you don't want to have problems and you just want to buy a new one and you, you can buy a new bottle of this. I got this in in five dollars I think but um, then after I bought it, it the price increased to 12 or 13 dollars I think they, there was a mistake on the price so now we have it in the bottle what I will do I will cover because humidity here is high and then I will bring a napkin and have everything Okay. Okay. So now the next step is to remove this bolt and we have to make sure that we have something to catch the oil. Also, I will bring tape 
in order to cover both ends of this so it doesn't get uh, air inside the the oil line I will put pause and come back okay so for this we need a 12 millimeters uh, wrench we're going to lose it I will put this on the bottom for all the leaks it's tight so I will use the other one that is has now a, a, a little bit more grip as I said this is a solo video uh, so you almost fell but you are good now Some kits come with a washer, this one doesn't. So I'm just going to keep this clean uh, and in order. As you can see, fluid is coming. Uh, okay. So here is the bolt. You see, it has holes for the oil passage. I will keep it clean. And the washers as well. We have to make sure that we have towels because it will. I don't know where is the other washer. Oh, I have both here. So now I have the bolt. I will take this. So, okay, so what I will do is just, I will make sure that this is clean, dry, and then as it's oily, it doesn't stick too good, but we need to just to keep it out of uh, the air. Uh, okay so keep it in up position so it doesn't have any problem now we're going back to to the caliper we need to release these wires this is for the brake light so we're going to remove the, the brake lever Sorry. There is a spring, so that's why it's pushing to the bolt. But okay, so make sure that you have it this in order. You see, and this is fluid from inside the cylinder. So okay, so I will start removing this. I'm just taking it to my place, uh, all of my work area, all the things, so I don't lose anything we will need to remove the mirror as well okay so now we have this assembly I'm going to take it to my place, it's leaking, so we have to make sure that it goes to the correct place. So as I said, we are putting this in the in my work area. I will remove this and push it to the end so I can put my phone. I think I will name my name, I will call my name uh, or my videos as a solo 
so, solo one hand videos so okay perfect so we have the cap the bolts the bolts the spring lever i will put them uh, outside i have a um, thank you jerry from work that he borrowed his uh, pliers to remove the the lock from here uh, thank you jerry to save me okay we'll put pause to make all this setup okay for this what we are going to do is going to use this i had it here before so it's all pur pur purpose stripper for good and pain and everything so i will use my uh, i will use gloves like latex gloves just to protect my hands from this corrosion i don't know if this is going to help or not but i will use gloves and i also i am also wearing my safety glasses because anything that goes to your eye is not good and then up. i also have a toothbrush I will put some I also have a fan behind me in order to keep this area ventilated the way it works you, you leave it here and then it will start popping the paint out of oh oops so okay, change of plans. I need to remove this sensor. So I have a screwdriver very close. And when you see that we have some corrosion over there. Okay, so I will keep doing. Okay, good timing. Make sure that you dispose this in the correct place, not in the trash can, because um, it has to be in a different place. I will go to a shop and ask where. In the meantime, I want to show you what I bought. So, this is a. I bought it in, in, in eBay from 1985. This is August 1985. This is the the meanest motorcycle of 1985. This is my bike. So this is the B Max, and I also bought this magazine from eBay, and it has the hot rod comparison V Max versus the 427 Cobra. Yeah, the quickest street bike ever sold. Takes on the fastest uh, sport car ever built. So, okay, I will put pause. I will, what I will do, I will wait uh, for the chem chemistry or the chemicals to make, uh, to work on this. And I will, in the meantime, I will find something to remove that lock. Okay, sorry, Jerry. I know you, uh, you told me to to get another set of pliers and I didn't get them but I will find another way thank you okay so I found my pliers that are kind of flimsy and uh, anyway so, uh, thank you Jerry again so what I will do I will try to focus in this area but I don't see let me put more light to it We have to get to this uh, lock and up, uh, close it and then pull it.
I'm sorry for the lighting, but I can see, but I know that you can't. Very good. I think it's, I get it. No. Okay, I think it's, it's moving out. I was just going to push the, the cylinder in order to lose it a little bit and try to pull it with my Harbor, Harbor Freight hook. I know, that, I know that you cannot see pretty good, but Okay, it's coming out. So this is what we were looking for, to remove this lock washer or lock pin. Uh, what we did with the pliers, these ones, is to put it in these two holes and then close it but as you can see it doesn't have you cannot go further more than this so it's just barely closing I will see if I can do a better zoom so you see I cannot really push them too much even if I'm all the way here is not all the way here okay so we have we want to make sure that we have everything in order uh, I will put the the washer first or I'm sorry I will get this out of the way So we have we have to remove this when we still have so you see the components I don't think it's it's in bad shape but let's make sure that we have this in order you see this I'm sorry I will remove this out of the place so I can put everything in the correct order um, place and then, I'm sorry I will put pause to have this clear so I think this is it okay let me get my gloves off again I will bring another light so pause Okay, you have to be creative, so I didn't have where to put this light, so I, go, I grabbed my wrench. So, here we have a master cylinder, or the, the pin, the, the kit that I just bought, the spring that came like this, and then the cylinder. The cylinder we have to clean it and make sure that everything is clean. I'm sorry, I just I'm just grabbing all the materials. But what I will do, I will make a pause and then I will clean everything uh, in in this master cylinder. So we can start doing the assemble, the assembly. Uh, I will make I will compare right now. Oh. I will compare the ones that we got from Yamaha and make sure that uh, uh, okay. okay so I will put everything the used one and the new one aside and then I will remove it so I don't mix it I think the kit should be uh, this is about 55 57 dollars I think that this this kit can be a little bit cheaper 
if you keep the same uh, piston the same lock the same washer washer oh I cannot get this one this one um, and then just replace the rubbers but okay so it's all together um, so I have one seal and the second seal a new one and the boot I didn't have this one for the other one so I will replace of course everything and make sure that everything is fitting correctly I don't know about this but I oh okay it's where it sits good I thought it was moving but okay so I will come back I will do some cleaning to the other one that is just cleaning and cleaning and cleaning and make sure that all the paint is removed and then I don't want to make this video too too long but yeah we have the the lock the the piston the gaskets as you see this is this has to be in this shape in order for the oil not to go back if it if you make pressure it will expand not allowing to have any any leaks so what I think is it has is just worn out because it, I don't see any kind of damage to it but you can see the corrosion that went through I will do a better inspection in a moment uh, let me see I can see some groups I don't know if you can see here you see this one has it the other one doesn't have it so I will make sure that let me take a look in the new ones this has groups uh, and this doesn't so now we know that this has to go in this order it's good to know good to know um, so there is a reason I think this is like a like a rib something to make this seal stronger than this one let me see if I feel any, any difference oh sorry No, I don't, I don't feel anything with my hands, but now that I know, I will make sure that I will put them in the, the correct order. Okay, I will put pause, I will stop this and then do some more cleaning to, to the other one and then see if I can remove most of the paint. So now what I did, um, I grabbed a, a metal brush and it's going much better. I can remove the paint easier. Just slightly, you see? So I did some cleaning, not very good, but most of it. I will use the hair dryer in order to dry all the wet spots. And then I will paint. 
but before that um, you can see that this surface is where, where the gasket goes so it has a little bit of um, rust and I what I will do I will do use this uh, very fine sandpaper on a flat surface and just rub it in order to make it to remove all the the rust and dirt this will help to prevent any leaks from this with this one I'm just doing rotational movements Okay, I will leave it like that. Um, this one is a uh, 600 grit. So I will now do, I will clear this and dry it. So it's very dry. And uh, I also will put a tape, I will show you later, to cover the areas where the, I don't want to get any paint. And also I will cover this hole in order to avoid any paint. Now that I am seeing is a little bit dirty here. I just I will make sure that everything is clean. But this doesn't matter. It's outside the the ceiling area. So okay, good. good. I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay. Uh, so I think it's clean enough. Um, what I will do? I will use a hair dryer in order to to dry all the areas. Mostly here inside, but also outside, just because it's the area where I will paint. I will do this in fast motion. So I will do now is to cover this. Okay, now I will paint 
um, the paint that I have is uh, has primer and um, black paint. Okay, I will dry for some moments and then I'll be back. Okay, uh, now uh, in the meantime that the paint is getting dry, what I will do, I will assemble the, uh, the kit. So, this has to go this way. Just make sure everything is in place. So what I will do, I will add a little bit of uh, loop. Okay, so it looks like this is not the best way to, to approach it, but I will take a look. Just make sure you don't damage the... the grommet. Okay, so you, you're going to do this. Make sure it's looped. It looks like it fits pretty good, no problem. It's going. So I have the the keeper or the grommet, the lock, the next one. So this one is very thin. You have to put it here. Then this one. This is the, the one that has a, a, a groove. And then the spring will be here. Make sure the a small end goes to the to this one. You see how it sits? Uh, sorry. Okay. So this will be the way. So here are the difference that I can see from the the old one that is in, on the top and the new one. So you can see the, the lip is like wider than the upper one. The same here. So I think that's that is why it was leaking. But yeah. Okay, uh, so we just did the the paint. Um, as you can see, the paint is a little bit uh, too thick. Um, I had a little bit of a problem to uh, to dry, or in order to to have it dry. Um, but okay, but this is already dry. I, I had because it was a little bit, uh, or it was too humid uh, yesterday. So we had a little, uh, we had, I had issues for the paint to cure. It was a little bit sticky. So we have here the area is clean, or the the areas would uh, would matter. Let's remove this. Um, as I said, the the paint was sticky, so I had to. To put it in the in the oven this morning, I put it at 145 Fahrenheit. I'm just going to remove 
please. Also, um, here is the, the cap, looks pretty good. What I, what I will do, I will put some water here and then I, stab, uh, I will do some sanding in order to, to make the letters uh, aluminum color or to remove the paint only in the areas where we want. Just put it like this and then start. It doesn't want to move. to be slow because the paint is too sticky. Now, uh, here, I made two mistakes. I paint this area that shouldn't be paint, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. It's where the sensor goes. The other thing is that I paint inside, so inside is where the uh, lever is going. So, but I will leave it like that, and then I think I will just remove with a knife or something. Um, by the way, the, the grid was this is a Mexican sandpaper, but this is a 2020. Okay, so what I will do now. Um, I will start building this. Oh, I have to remove this window. Good, we don't have any more water. So, the other thing that I will do, I will make sure that the, all this area is clear or clean. But I will do that later. What we are going to do now, we're going to make to do the what we try the original purpose of this video. We're going to replace the kit for the brake. So for this I will use blaster lube. This is for silicon lubricant. Um, it's just to keep these things looped. So as we remember uh, yesterday, we were able to assemble all these components. We lube it and we put the washer and then the retainer. And now I have the this spring holder. So I'm just going to put a little bit of oil or lube. This is only for to make it able to slide and then the, the new spring remember it has a two, two shapes the smaller one goes to the piston because it's going to sit in this retainer so what we are going to do is when we're going to drop it then I will what I will do I will in order to avoid uh, sitting incorrectly, I will retort it and make sure that it's sitting correctly inside. So, okay, as you see, I made a, a mistake here, so just make sure you don't make it. So I will go back, so I will put the retainer I will put the spring and then the body will be up.
it's a bit oh okay so now i have this here i have, I have to, to pull it in order to pull it i will use this so what i will do i will undo everything and i will put more lube here The other kit, the one that is not original, which is I think is good as well, um, it has uh, uh, grease. If this doesn't work, I will use grease. everything sit good I will make sure that this is working I think it's good so now that we have it here uh, we need to, to put the lock so for that we have to put this here to push the, the, the lever and then we're this is going to be difficult to show here but where we are going to do is to push the lock With, the, with this point you can you can push it to the inner side keep you have to be always pushing the piston in order to have it right so now that that you're pushing I don't know if you can see I will keep I will push push until the lock sits in the group so I think it's sitting there right now I will just push hard just to make sure that it's sitting fully sitting You have to make sure that all the, the ring or all the the washer or the lock is sitting correctly. Something that you can see, I don't know if... Okay, it's fully seated. So now we have to make sure that this is working. Good. The other thing that we have to to put, uh, and I will use a little bit of a loop or loop here, is this retainer. So this has to go here like this. We we'll put here inside. So you see, it's sitting correctly is in the piston um, I think it's, it's already set um, and right I will use another thing something else to push it so I don't cut nothing So this, the way it works, I think it's right. 
Okay, now I will clean here. You can, I don't know if you can see, but some of the my fingerprints are in the paint because when I applied it, it was kind of um, humid. So now what we are going to do is to to do everything backwards, and to, I will put the sensor, the lever, um, the mirror, the fluid to do the also the. Uh, the 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 brake uh, flush in order to have to remove all the air that may be there because of the because of the when, when I remove the the hose. So and I also you know what I need to do some machining here or not machining but I I need to remove the paint because it's it's an an area where it feels. Uh, so for this. Um, I think the best way should be if removing the do it before you seal the 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 the, the, the gasket or the or the, the piston because now if some dirt goes inside uh, it's not good. So what I will do I will put this to cover. just to, to avoid any paint so for this we are going to use the same sand um, blaster but I will go to the other side of the table and I will put it aside sure that everything is clear yeah make sure to cover this bo uh, this hole uh, once you, when you, when you do it Okay, so now this is done. Um, I will reconnect everything and then uh, pour the also the the brakes, and that will be it. Okay, so I did the assemb the assembly of the pump. Uh, it's in place. Uh, I torque this bolt to the specifications and um, I also put the lever and I put the fluid so I'm, I'm breaking as, as you can see there is air on it so I will keep pushing uh, until I get more resistance but right now it's getting it's soft but it, I think it's getting a little bit harder but it means that it's, it's working it's flushing all the the bubbles and then I will do the the flush uh, on the calipers as well but in the meantime, I'm just trying to push the oil or the air out. This was full, now it's almost empty, uh, it's halfway. I can feel it, it's, it's getting harder. 
As we can see, this is hard already. No more bubbles. Uh, so I will consider the this job is is done. Um, I will refill cap and and bolt it and and then do the the flush. But that's a, another video that I did before, so there is no sense to to do it again. But hopefully this video help you to do the change of a, a brake a brake pump. You know, or, or master cylinder rebuilt um, okay so thank you for watching like my video i hope you enjoy it